Kenton, I don't assume you've had geometry in school, have you? Nope. Well, later on, when you get solid geometry, you're going to have to find the volume of something like this. What is volume, do you know? No, not, not at the slightest. Well, it's the amount of stuff that's there. In other words, you could weigh it, and that would tell you the weight of the stuff, but you want to know how much is there. And with a, an object like this, it's pretty easy. You measure the height and the width and the depth, and you multiply them all together. Now, there's another easier way, though. You see this container I have here, colored water? Yes. So pour some of that into there. Okay, sure. Until the rim, or Yeah, we'll keep the going. There, now you can stop. See what's happening? The water's coming out of this tube. Yes. What we're trying to do is to get a fixed volume of water. And now we have water right up to the very edge, right, and anything excess comes out over there. Okay, now, we could wait till it stops dripping, and we'd be very accurate. But now, see I have a nail on the top of this piece of wood? Yep. Okay, put it slowly down into that fixed volume of water. Just put it right slowly okay. down into there. I think that this block, or whatever you call yeah. it, cube, will then force the water out because of its volume. Yes, we're adding volume to here, so the volume is more than it was before. And the excess is coming out over here. Okay, now, Here. now you can read the volume right off the side of this thing. That's See it? true. In fact, don't worry about reading it. Just move the rubber band down there till it gets to the level of the water. And that's okay. the volume of the cube. That's the volume. Okay, now you want to pour that back in here again? Okay, sure. Let's See. And this time the water's going to drip out. Well, it shouldn't. It should be just because we have the same volume again as we did before. Oh. See? Now, if you tried to find the volume of this by measuring it, you'd have a tough time, wouldn't you? That's very true. Yeah, all kinds of so bumps and stuff bumps sticking out. Right, yeah. so it would be hard to measure in the same simple way as you did this. So you know how to find the volume of that? Yep. How? Okay, well, I can take this mm -hmm. Play-Doh or lump of clay and put it into the water mm -hmm. and let the water come out of the tube right. and then find out where it will stop. Because you added the volume here yeah. again, right? right. Okay. You could wait until the very last yeah, drop, couldn't it'd you? Be very okay, accurate. now, how much volume is there there? It's exactly the same as the cube, yeah. or almost. In fact, that's why it has all these bumps on it, because I added bumps until I got exactly the same volume. Oh. See? How, how tall are you? I'm about 136 centimeters. Mm -hmm. How much do you weigh? About 24 kilograms. Okay, those are the sort of normal measurements. Yeah. What's your volume? My volume, how much I have in there? Yeah, how much there is there of you well, there? I don't know. No, I've never mo yeah, most measured. people don't because they, that volume is not really that important. But we're going to find out your volume. You, you mean you're going to put me into water? Well, you think that's the way to do it? Yes. You well, could put you in water just like this, right? Mm. All right. So that's why you asked me to bring my bathing suit. Yeah, so you got your bathing suit on underneath. Here yeah. is going to be our container. Is the water going to be cold? No, it won't be cold. In fact, I'll warm it up. But we can't put you in this, can we? Because it isn't big enough. Yeah. But we're going to use this as that container right there, and we're going to see how many of those, how many of these you can fill up. How, what's your comparison? What do you think? Six. Six of these? Or five. Five, okay, make up well, your mind. Five or six? Five and a half. Five and a half, okay. Why not? So if we put you underwater and we catch all of the water that we get, you think it's going to fill five and a half of those? Okay, you didn't well, notice it when you came over, but outside, no. I have just the thing to do it. Come on. Okay. Okay. That's cool. That's number five. And what did you say you were worth? Pardon? How many did you buckets did you say you were worth? Oh, I said about five and a half. So, okay, we had five now, so duck down. Here we go. Coming it's up cold. number six. This thing is okay. freezing. Go ahead. You can go out down a little further. We'll make you go faster. Okay. Down further. Keep going. Keep going, there we go. Here, this, there's five and a half about, that's what you said, and you yeah. got your head left. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Keep going. That's it. Keep going. I'm down to my shoulders now. Okay, keep going. Then when I tell you, stand up, just like before, okay? Okay. Okay, stand up. That's number six. Okay, down you go. Okay. One more dip and I think we'll have it, and it looks like it's going to be eight right on the button. Okay. One more. Here you go.
Okay, that just about did it. Total of eight. Okay. So if anybody asks you, your volume is eight red buckets. Okay, thank you very much.